and we're hanging out with Walter and we're gonna do like military vehicles with Walter here on Stranger Palooza. And uh, what are we looking at here, Walt? We are looking at an M715. Uh, okay. Uh, what year is this? 68. 68, yeah. M17, uh, M1, M715, excuse me. Okay, so uh, in uh, English, what is that? That's a, a, a militarized... It's a Jeep, Dodge? Jeep, Jeep. Uh, okay. Willis uh, Kaiser manufactured Jeep. Basically, that model on the street was like a called a Gladiator. Oh, the Gladiator. And then, right, they, right. then they did this military stuff to it. Yeah, because the Gladiator Jeep is coming back this year. Correct, yes. 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 So this is like an old school, what a Gladiator Jeep should be. Right, right. And our friend uh, Sean, I think, has been working on this. Is it, is it his brother? Sean's Both brother, of them? Yeah. Yeah, 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 they've been working on this. So that's why Sean's here. So, um, yeah. reluctantly. <laughs> the, these were used in, um, in Vietnam. And um, then early into the early 70s, mid 70s, and by the 80s, these were being all phased out. And then, okay. Uh, they had a Dodge that replaced these as like utility truck, and then the Chevy Cut V replaced the Dodge. So okay. So are these easy to get in military surplus nowadays, or very difficult to get, Sean? Um, they're they're around a lot of like forestry places end up using them, fire departments and okay, other places yeah, okay. like that. So it's, what's supposed to happen is when they're finished with them, they go back in the, to the GSA uh -huh. and they get auctioned off a lot okay, of Okay, GSA is... Uh, General Services Administration. Okay, yeah. okay. So what would be the value of something like this if you could find it? It obviously depends on the condition. Yeah. Um, I've seen them on the GSA website say. go for 2000 2500 okay. 3000 depending on condition. Um, because now guys want to restore and make them back into, yeah. well, two things. They want to either make them a military truck or they want to turn them into a mud truck or something. Mud so. truck, okay. Mud. So what are you guys going to do with this? Try to make it original or? Um, yeah, it's pretty much original now. Um, it has a lot of cancer in the body. So we've been, we acquired another one. Okay. That was missing a lot of stuff, but the body was great. So we're, oh. we're collecting parts to do a quick restoration. So we're getting all the other pieces done and ready. Mm -hmm. And then we'll rip the whole thing apart and put it back together. Plan is in a short period of time. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. sounds like a plan. So let's yeah. just run through it real quick. Like what are the things to look for if you're looking at these or what are the cool things on this? On a 715, first thing you look for is R-U-S-T, rust. Rust. Because they rust pretty bad. Um, okay. So yeah, and that'll be down, and in, we're, the, down in, the, in the floorboards and okay. along the bottoms where the... Right. Where the, uh, where the so this side, you guys are calling this Old Smoky? Yeah. yeah. So Smoky this side is all good, right, Sean? Smoky yeah, is... It's, there's a little cancer here, but like, okay. you'll see this truck oh, for a yeah, long a time bit. sat on a hill, kind of sloped like this. Oh. So like all the rain went on the other side, so the other side is a lot worse. Okay. But like I said before, we have an entire cab, doors, mm -hmm. and some fenders. So I already sandblasted the cab and primed it. We just need to do a minor stuff to that. And we'll basically build it all. And then when the time's right, we'll swap it out. You know, okay. Yeah, so you can do it real <clears> fast. <throat> so this is kind of like the before for anyone looking at this video. Mm -hmm. After Sean and his brother get the... What's your brother's name again? Jeffrey. Jeff. Yeah, so after Jeffrey gets and Sean get the work done, then we'll come back and take a look at it. Uh, it's got a pretty big uh, bed in it, man. Yeah. So that's like, awesome. Um, actually, I think they're one-ton rated. Uh, uh, yeah. That actually has okay, Jeep so. on it. Yeah. Check that out. That's a cool <laughs> thing right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you see the, the civilian gladiator, uh -huh. very similar. The beds are different on the gladiator. Oh. But, um, yeah, they share that same look. Is this longer? Well, this is like bed. the average length. This is what the length is of it. It's an eight foot bed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this this design, this will take a comm box like that's on the back of that big truck. You mm -hmm. can set that in the back of that. Okay. Um, that's what they always try to do. They try to make it so they can put a box yeah. like that. Oh, okay. Um, you, can you put up a frame and cover yeah, it? Yeah, they had tarp things, thing. yeah. Okay. Very cool. I don't know if Sean necessarily wants us to see that side because it's it all messed matter. up. But you could, yeah. Well, you, you can, can just show, like, I'll, you know. So, yeah. Tell us what's going on here in the control, the control center. Yeah. Well, um, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, Definitely you manual. Your, you know, your typical military light switch and gauges um, and data plates. Yeah, they didn't have um, airbags back then. <laughs> no. Yeah. 
that probably wouldn't do you any good. Look how you guys sit in relationship to that steering wheel too. Yeah, real close. Yeah, yeah. If you're kind of tall, it's not going to be easy to shift. But but the Jeep, the civilian version of this truck has these this short height inside also because I've been in a civilian one. Yeah, and you get that same feeling like you're like kind of sitting up high. So yeah. So how what what's the engine in this? It's this the, the hurricane. Yeah, tornado. The tornado. tornado. It's, a straight, it's a straight up. six cylinder, and they call it the tornado. It's an overhead valve, uh, air, overhead cam engine. Hmm. And um, can we they, take a look? They at were it? they were known for having some uh, issues. Okay. So um, a lot of people took these trucks and then take out the tornado engine and put a V8 in it. So. Damn. There you go. So straight six, you said? Mm -hmm. Yep, straight six. Yeah, six cylinder. Yep, carbureted. Pretty, pretty basic engine. It's uh, got waterproof ignition, or actually, I always call it waterproof, but it's more to for uh, radio interference. So I'm gonna take it. You guys aren't gonna modify this and put like a Heliphant motor or something in there. <laughs> no. No. Okay. You got a whole other engine, don't you? No, we do have another engine, and but the same thing. And the reason but this one's called Old Smoky because it smokes. smokes. Yeah, <laughs> it burns oil. So okay, but it runs. Yeah, this uh, thing was sitting. Mm. Tell, I'll tell you, this was sitting in a friend's yard. Yeah, so and you wanted to give it away. A, a friend of ours owned this, mm -hmm. and he got it when he first got his Jeep, and he restored the Jeep first. Then he was going to do this, but then he got a scout car, so then he restored the scout car next. So this thing sat there for seven years. With leaves. He kept getting put off and stuff. Yeah. Put off and put off. And then he is moving and he just needed it gone. So, so here, take it, Sean. So like, he's like, Sean, take it. He's like, I don't want to scrap it. And I was going to part it out. And then my brother saw it and he <laughs> goes, hey, I want that. Yeah, it's sexy. So well, we had I, it running that afternoon. So I, I said, you can have it, but here's the deal. Because one month from that day, we are driving from... Newport Ritchie to Stewart, Florida for the air show. Oh. So I gave him, challenged him, he said, you can have it, but you're driving it to the Stewart Air Show, which is roughly 250 miles away. Mm. And so he went to town, we just got it running, did everything we can, and the only thing that we thought we might have an issue with would be the fuel pump. So we brought along like an electric one just in case, and sure enough, that's the only thing that went wrong with it. Okay. And we been kind of been driving it since then. Okay. Yeah, I've seen you guys at a couple of different places. I yeah. like the way it looks, man. They are yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I There's... don't know if I'm much a fan of the uh, yeah. rust on rust, but... Um... but I, that's like I said, we have a... You probably a have really, a good hood. We have hood. a really good hood. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the sheet metal, you know, the cab sheet metal, we pretty much have really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. That's been sandblasted and primed. Right. So once the time is right, we'll put it all on. Okay. But like Walter said, sometimes people make mud trucks out of them. All the leftovers from this project, his boy is into doing crazy things like that. So mm -hmm. they're probably will to build a mud truck. Probably Who's will that? be by uh, Austin. Austin. Oh, okay. There probably will be a more fun version. Right, right. As yeah. Far as that can get beaten up and everything. Yeah. In the near future. Right. Made out of the remnants of the two trucks. Oh, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> no, this is cool, man. I like it. All right. So when do you guys think that you're gonna? actually do that one of these days yeah that's next week, right? <laughs> one of these days it'll happen all right so there you go so and this is what a gladiator is supposed to look like i'll let lola do a spin around but uh before we do that we're we're out of here i just want to remind everyone to subscribe to this channel stranger palooza uh check out walter's got safety harbor firearms and uh what's the other thing stemparts.com uh, stemparts uh, mower death Oh, well, that's on YouTube. That's yeah, that's on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah, but subscribe here to the channel. Ring the bell so you get notified. Yeah, you know, check out Mower Death on um, on Gunstreamer. Yes, Mower Death is on Gunstreamer yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys check out Gunstreamer. We got lots of stuff. You guys have seen Sean here before. You probably see him again. Yeah. A couple Do times. Yeah, doing some things. But I'll let Lola spin around. Until then, we're out of here.